to hear from the man himself talking about what he did best, music. The idea is to, uh, to take it a step forward and to innovate or else why, why am I doing it? I'm just, I don't want to be just another can in the assembly line. You know, I want to, you know, create, do something that's totally different and unusual. It's like, I hate to say it, but it's like what all songwriters say. It's true. It's like you don't write the song, the song writes itself. And it just kind of falls into your lap. It's like when you say, gee whiz, did I do this? It was that sort of thing. Is, is video the same, or is video more work? Um, kind of, I think so. It's, 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 it's a cousin of the same creative, you know, intent, I think. Um, you, you just, you let it create itself, really. I know I do. In my opinion, it has to be completely entertaining and have a, a sense of, um, a linear sense of continuity as far as, um, I like having a beginning and a middle and an ending. So you could follow a story um, and not just be a collage of images, you know. And sometimes that's great too. It depends on what the director has a visionary, what he sees really. Now how much do you put, how much uh, faith or trust or how, how much of it do you let the director decide? Are you very involved in the concepts? Oh, I, I'm very much involved in complete making and creating uh, of the piece. I mean, it has to be from you know, my soul. Usually, you know, it's an interpretation of the music, so I would think so, yes. But you've, you know, I'm hearing a radio next door, by the way, so I'm just pick the wrong time and start cranking the tune. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. I love working with John Landis because we laugh a lot. We're never serious on the set. <laughs> so it's, it's fun working with John because I have to throw water balloons and stink bombs and everything at him. That's a ritual for me after... We rap on each video, I throw a lot of stuff at everybody, so that's fine. Awesome. How did you first meet John? I met John um, right before doing Thriller. I called him on the phone, I think he was in London, and I told him what I wanted to do and what the concept was, and we came together and we wrote it, the two of us. Now, when you were talking concept with him, did you envision it as being a movie or a music video? Because it seems it's, it's more of a film. No, my, my idea was to make a short film, you know, with, with conversation in the beginning and make that kind of linear and to bookend it with conversation at the end. But John and I, guess, he's such a fun guy. I really love working with him. We just sat together and the chemistry it started working, you know. He's fun. <laughs> Do you remember, uh, were you a fan of horror movies in, in particular? Believe it or not, um, I'm afraid to watch scary movies. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I don't quite like to watch them very much. I never thought I'd be involved in making that sort of thing, but I am. Well, and what, I mean, the two movies that, you know, well, there's the, the werewolf scenario at the beginning, there's the Night of the Living Dead Dance. Did you see any of those movies? No. I did see An American Werewolf in London, which I thought was really fun. Um, I hadn't seen the... the the classic werewolf one. When was the last time you saw Thriller? Gee, I don't know. I thought about watching it again, uh, but I, 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 I don't, because uh, I don't want to scare the children. <laughs> My idea, I, I always try to be a pioneer and an innovator in, in whatever I do. And I, my dream was to always make, you know, short little films, because I'm a big fan of the Three Stooges. And I love watching Curly, who I think is wonderful. And they make these like 15 minute shorts. And I said, gee, I would love to do something like that one day, uh, you know, with a linear story. So this was my opportunity. Rod Temperton, um, who wrote Thriller, um, that was one of the first raps, actually. He thought of having a rap at the end of it. And he, we caught up Vincent Price, and he says yes right away. So Rod was taking the um, taxi from his hotel, he's a German fellow, from, from his hotel to the studio and he wrote it within transit and he did a great job. Rod, right, did you ever meet Vincent? Or get to... Yes, I've known Vincent Price since I was 11. And the uh, first time I met him, it was at NBC Studios and he said, come here, like that, in his kind of gruesome voice. And I started to cry because I, I thought he was serious. 
Because <laughs> I used to see him by turning the channels and those kind of... I think he was in The Raven and The House of Wax or something. So it, he scared me. <laughs> and was there any talk of trying to get him actually in the video? Or Pardon? To actually get him in physically in the video? Or no, there was never any talk about that, no. Okay. And uh, some of the dialogue, we were, we were watching the video earlier, and uh, do you remember any of the dialogue from, from the scenes, anything that jumps out at you from your, the, the, the film at the beginning with all of From Thriller? Yeah. Um, Gee, uh... Is there, do you have a favorite line, a favorite part of that? No. Mm. Because you were all... Oh, I like the scene when I'm looking at, um... When, when the girl, all these zombies are coming toward us, and she, she thinks she's safe with me, you know, being her boyfriend, and she looks over to me, and I become one, and then we do that famous pull-in and pull-out movement, the Hitchcock move, and I love that moment, that I become one. It's fun. Yeah.